Hi, my name is Ethan Schindler. I'm an emotional support navigator in the Livestrong Cancer Navigation Center. And today we're going to talk about initiating and maintaining effective communication with your medical team. There's five steps in this process, and um, we're going to break those down into steps to help you to remember them more easily. Step one is making sure that you find a medical team that you feel comfortable with. This is an extremely critical element. Um, you need to start out on the right foot. Um, especially just talking with the medical team, making sure that they communicate in ways that you prefer, um, and, that, and then it just feels right. Um, you'll know when, that, when you feel supported and that you're feeling like you have good communication with that team, and so finding the right medical team is the first and most important step. Step two is make sure that you understand and know your medical team's policies and procedures. This is, really, this is really the second step because it's most um, critical that once you've picked your team that you understand how they generally operate. Know how to communicate and when your medical team wants to communicate with you, when they're available. Know the policies for if you have an emergency and you need to get a hold of them quickly. Know um, how they communicate their test results and when you can expect them and how you're going to receive those. Also know about how and when to communicate your symptoms, side effects from medications, um, anything along those lines so that there's no unmet expectations when you might want to communicate a certain way and that's not part of their procedures. Step three is prepare for your appointments. This is one of the places, this is one of the points where a lot of people fall short. Um, it's, there's going to be a lot of appointments, there's going to be a lot of information being thrown at you and it's really important that, um, that you're able to stay on track and keep track of all the information, not only that you're receiving, but also that you want to communicate to your medical team. So there's um, some critical steps in this. What we recommend to people is that people start writing a journal about um, all of their daily experiences um, in their treatment and just day-to-day -day life and, and that they carry this with them um, regularly. Uh, while you're in your uh, appointments, make sure that you're taking notes. Um, if, you, if you can't take notes or it's a little overwhelming to take notes, a, um, bring a note taker with you. Um, ask part of your, one of your medical team, like a nurse or a social worker, to help you with taking notes. Or ask your doctor to write down exactly what he told you. It's also important that you, you might have several different specialists that you might have to see. That you take your notes and your, your um, journal with you to each one of your appointments and that you communicate everything in there effectively. Step four is um, uh, communicate effectively with your medical team. This one really builds off of step three, and this is using all of your information to communicate with your team. So the notes that you're taking, uh, making sure that you're writing down your symptoms or your side effects from your medications, and, and really making sure that you're being a good advocate for yourself during your treatment. Uh, making sure that you know any symptoms that you're having, you should really communicate to that team. Don't assume that um, symptoms are normal or that um, you're supposed to be feeling a certain way. Um, let the medical professionals and your, and your treatment team decide what's normal and what is avoidable and what's not avoidable. It's also really important that you communicate when you're having um, pain, when you're experiencing pain to your medical team. You should communicate that immediately when you're experiencing that. When you are communicating your pain, make sure that you communicate what kind of pain you're having, such as burning, um, sharp pain. That's important for them to know for how, they, how to treat and uh, best address. Step five is know that there's other resources out there. If you need any help um, finding resources in your local area, or if you need someone to talk to, we have services here at Livestrong um, that we'd be more than happy to be a part of your support network and part of your team. You can reach us at 855-220-7777, that's 855-220-7777, or you can go to our website and do our online intake at livestrong.org backslash get help.